Yo, what's good? Man, it's your boy Jarrell here, holding it down for Jarrell Fitness, and y'all already know it's time to grow, bro. Anyway, man, I'm up in the gym doing this chest, shoulders, and tricep workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and describe to you guys what I'm doing. So right now, this is my first set. Um, 50 pounds just to warm up, okay? And then from there on out, I did five sets of five reps. Some of the sets I wasn't actually able to get the full five reps. Mostly due to the fact that, you know, after doing five sets of five, you know, eventually you're gonna start to get very tired. So I did the best I could, alright? So, like I said, you know what I'm saying? Um, five sets of five working sets. And um, I'm pretty much going real heavy, you know, pushing my body pretty much to the limit. You know what I'm saying? So this is one of the two days that I work my chest, um, which this video right here is the beginning of the week is Sunday. So on Sunday, that's my, my heavy lifting day. So I go real heavy on chest and um, pretty much everything else. So and then later on in the week on um, what is that? On Wednesday, I'll do, yeah, I'll do my arm day and I'll do like a little bit of chest in the beginning. And I'll do, sometimes I'll do shoulders also on that other day of the week, all right? Man, this is a great exercise. I love this exercise, man. You know, it's nothing like dumbbells. It takes a lot of that stress off of your, your, um, your shoulders. I notice when I go back and forth, from the straight bar to the dumbbells, you can notice the difference, you know what I'm saying? So, for you guys that's having a lot of pain in your shoulders from doing like pressing movements like this, just try to stick to dumbbells, okay? I do both, you know, personally, so. Got my buddy Gary in the gym with me again. Y'all will see him in the next clip. 45 years old, man. Dude, still working out. That's what I'm talking about. That's my man's. Yeah. So anyway, we went ahead and moved on. And I did about, um, I think, four sets. Four sets of incline um, sh um, bench press. Incline bench press with a straight bar, a barbell. So I pretty much was going in a, the same rep range, kind of like six to eight reps each set. And, um... Here go Gary right here, you know, doing his thing. He's gonna have to probably gonna have to work with him a little bit on the um the wideness of his grip. Probably, he probably can be a little wider than what he is right now, but we'll work on that next time we in the gym, most definitely. I'm not really focused on going too heavy with the incline because you know after doing all of those damn flat dumbbell presses you know your your chest is pretty fatigued at that point so every exercise after that I'm pretty much just pushing my body to the limit trying to do them do as much as I can you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to have that mind muscle connection and just trying to keep the blood flowing so I can push through as many reps as I can but I also try to stop myself from going to failure with every set I don't really go to failure some sets I do some sets I don't you know it's like 50 50 you know what I'm saying that's one of those things that the high swings preach a lot don't go to failure and I, I mostly agree with them on that but sometimes it's good to go to failure you know all right then I tried something new right here as you guys can see I'm right here using a hammer strength um, decline bench press machine okay that's a long ass fucking name right <laughs> so I went ahead and slapped on some weight right here I've actually never really did a real working set of this exercise So this is very new to me But it felt very good on my lower chest, man I also kind of felt it in my shoulders as well But, um, pretty nice movement I might, I might add this into my routine now, okay So I did about, um, three, I believe, three sets of this I just pretty much pounded out as many reps as I could each set. You know, I increased the weight on that second set. And then I think I might have dropped the weight back down for the last year set. Because I think I only did like three sets of this shit, to be truly honest with you guys. Great for developing that lower part of your chest right there. Make your shit look real round looking, you know. 
right, then we're gonna move on to the shoulders. So I'm going ahead and doing some some um some seated dumbbell shoulder presses. So I'm starting out with the 60 pounds. So pretty much did six reps. I didn't go into failure. Now I had one set that didn't get taped. My homeboy thought he was recording, but he wasn't. And I had actually pushed the 65 pound dumbbells for five reps, and then that's when I moved on to this third set right here. Which I went to the, I dropped the weight down to 55 pounds. Okay. And I'm pretty much just, um, you know, pushing out as many reps as I can, you know, and I, all I could really get was six before I hit failure. So I think I did about four sets total. This is a great exercise for building up those shoulders. Um, I also, on my other day that I worked my chest and a little bit of shoulders, I'll use like the straight bar to do my shoulder presses, which you will see in a video coming up soon that I'm gonna post. Um, my home routine. Then I went ahead and tried this shit out, man. And um, I don't know what they call this, but it kind of feels like a behind the neck shoulder press. That's what it kind of feels like. It feels like it hits your traps a little bit. Um, it actually feels like it hits my rear delts too, as well as, you know, the middle of my shoulders, but it feels pretty good. I did about two sets of this. It was kind of an awkward movement. I might stick with it. I might not. We'll see. Okay, I did two sets of that. Then I went ahead and moved on to the triceps proportion of my workout. So I went ahead, instead of doing dips with my body weight at the dipping station, I went ahead and used this dip machine right here. Which is real good, you know, for those days that you're not feeling, like you don't feel like you don't really want to fuck with those dips and got the dip bit with the chain and all that. You know, you can go ahead and do something like this. So I think I did about three sets of this, three, four sets of this exercise right here. Threw some nice weight on there while I was able to squeeze out like, you know, eight to ten reps. I think the last set that I did, um, I think I squeezed at about 12 reps, okay? And this is a real good exercise for all you beginners out there also. If you can't do dips with your body weight, go ahead and start out with this machine. And I guarantee your motherfucking ass that you will be doing body weight dips with your own body weight in no time, alright? So just stick with it, don't give up. And remember, it's time to grow, bro. That's the slogan, and we gonna stick with it, baby. Get a great pump. Look at, look at my triceps, man. I think I think that's one of my best body parts is my triceps. You know, my biceps ain't shit, but I'm trying to bring them up. But I love my triceps, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and I did two sets of um side lateral raises with dumbbells. For all you long time subscribers, you already know this is one of my favorite exercises for my shoulders. It really brings out that wideness of your shoulders to add that width, okay? Two sets, 12 to 15 reps. And then this is the last exercise I did about um two to three sets of this aiming for 15 reps each set so that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys like the video if you like the video go ahead and like it comment and subscribe to your boy jarell here jarell fitness and like i said in the beginning y'all already know it's time to grow bro i'ma holler at all y'all later be safe be blessed holler